Brett Okamoto for ESPN here to talk about UFC Fight Night from Saturday night in Sao Paulo, Brazil, the main event between Tiago Santos and Eric Anders fighting at 205 pounds, which is not what we would have guessed you know, months ago when the UFC was putting this card together. It was supposed to be a light heavyweight fight between Jimmy Manoa and Glover Teixeira. Those two have been circling the wagons on a fight really for years. They've haggled over where it should take place, when it should take place. It was supposed to take place on Saturday, and of course it did not. Uh, Teixeira pulling out last month with a shoulder injury. He was replaced by Tiago Santos, a longtime middleweight. Um, so it was Santos versus Jimmy Manoa, and then that fight didn't happen because Manoa was forced to pull off of the card. He was replaced with Eric Anders, another middleweight. So two middleweights meeting at 205 pounds. Uh, really turned into a very entertaining fight. Tiago Santos winning via TKO in the third round. And what you walk away from this, this event thinking, you know, it's really hard not to look at it as sort of an indictment on what's going on at 205 pounds. And it's also hard not to look at it and say, I'm excited about Tiago Santos potentially moving up and staying at 205 pounds. He, he mentioned post-fight that that's most likely his route. He would like to, to still fight Jimmy Manoa. That fight was booked, of course, and the Manoa pulled out. Um, but you look at just how wide open 205 is. I'm not so sure that Santos and Eric Anders shouldn't consider moving up to 205 permanently. You have the champion, Daniel Cormier. I don't think he's ever going to fight at light heavyweight. Cormier continues to say that that's not the case. He intends to defend that title, but I think we're going to see him at heavyweight against Brock Lesnar, and I, I just don't see him returning to 205 to take on any of these contenders that are coming up. And let's talk about those contenders. Who are they really? Al Alexander Gustafson, special talent. He's only fought three times in the last three years. Jimmy Manoa, uh, Glover Teixeira, 38 years old. So, you know, not necessarily done, but certainly not spring chickens. Alir Latifi, really like Latifi. Time is not necessarily on his side either. He's 35 years old. You look at some of, of the opportunities that have taken place in that division. Volkan Uzdemir basically got a title shot within a year's time frame last year just because he came in and got a few quick knockout wins. Anthony Smith is a former middleweight that we're talking about potentially getting the title shot probably next year if things fall his way. He lost to Tiago Santos in a middleweight fight in February of this year, not even all that long ago. So you just look at the landscape of this division. You got a couple young guys who really need to turn the corner. You got a couple of older established guys who maybe their best years are behind them. All of a sudden, Tiago Santos looks like a very interesting player at 205. I don't think he should lose sleep over this decision at all. Stay at 205, get some knockouts. You could have a title shot by next summer.